Visuals. Welcome back to the Visual Guy Podcast. I'm going to put my underbelly on the kitchen counter. Oh, uh, yeah? I, uh, I like to pose my underbelly on stuff. I it's, got well, <laughs> no, yeah, you've got nowhere near as... The more you squeeze down, the fatter it looks because you mush it all together. But, like, you've got to have a nice little... You know, when I'm in the shower, the fact that I have to, like, stretch up, pull it back a bit to wash underneath, that's when, <laughs> that's when you know you're a bit of a fat fuck. It's you. Did you get your, your underbelly? Yes, I did. Tell me I fight. I can't help it. I go to the pub and eat dinners with you and come back here and... What's the other way? I'm looking at Yeah, my metaslim's probably, like, overworked. It gets to the point where, what's the fucking point? This fat cunt's going to kill himself anyway. You, you, you do a lot more work than me, doesn't it? Maybe you should work a whole lot more than me. Yeah, but I think maybe the scale of... What are you? Just wait till I got on the wagons and then it's all going to go. Yeah, you sat there. You have a stellar one hand. You have a wife beater vest on. A fancy girl. Go, go fucking lorry full of shit. Are you drink and drive. Ah, you'll have one of them accents. You are from bloody Doncaster. Some shit like that. I always imagine wagon drivers having like the map. You don't just go, hello, I'm a wagon driver. I've come, I've come from London. <laughs> all right, love, I've come to drop you. Uh, shit off. Oh, uh, yeah, Chris is going to be a wagon. We spoke about it last week, but he's going, you know, he's one step closer to being a wagon driver. One step closer to being a wagon driver. <laughs> so, so that, that was all. Not, yeah, we spoke about that last weekend because it was this week that you did it. Last weekend yes. was so epic for me, mate. Like, wow. it, was, it was unbelievably epic. I, oh, uh, you were familiar? Well, obviously, WrestleMania it was fucking mid. Like, this Roman Reigns cracks. There, yeah, see the guy's back? See him? I see him. Rest, go! What? Uh. We were talking about Chris being really annoyed with women acting in films and how he hates that women <laughs> get roles in films. It was actually very sexist. <laughs> we didn't really. We didn't really. I will give you a bad note. I always call you a racist and a pedo. He's not really. I'm, I'm actually the one that you could call that because of my Pedro Pascal shirt. I'm the... Well, he's older than me, it makes sense. <laughs> oh, shit, we make, doesn't matter. Yeah, last weekend, mate, was congressional maybe I told you I watched a guy get choked out and walk about. What the fuck are you doing? I felt bad on the bouncers because it finished at, fuck knows what time in the morning, and walkabout shot at four. Yeah. But we were still upstairs watching. And I went down for a fan. There's a guy asleep at the bar, some poor bar staff lady, trying to wake him up to, she's like, trying to clear the table, like, you know, about to, and he's just like that. I'm mm. thinking, oh, poor girl, having to de- imagine having to work, having to deal with some drunk bastard like that. Um, I got fucking followed on by some, uh, one of the girls at work in Rouge. I'm walking down Watchergate, and she's like, oh, and I'm like, thinking, oh, that can't be for me. And they're like, oh, and I'm like, hello, have you got a fag? And I was like, yeah, I can grab a fag. And then straight away she went, cheers. <sighs> well, the, this lad that I'm meeting, because she was from Preston, apparently the girls that strip in Rouge don't come from Carl, they come from like Blackpool and... Ah, uh, they're not local, apparently. Uh, yeah, apparently, because this little fucking perv that says apparently. Um, and then she's like, oh yeah, he's going to get us some drugs and he's fucked off to the taxi rank. And I'm thinking, I'm not here to worry about your life problems. I've just watched fucking Roman Reigns defend his title at WrestleMania. I want to digest that. And she's like, where's some hotel? I don't know where I sent her. Apparently there's a hotel they all stay at. I can't. I think it's on here somewhere, but I just went see that that car up there. Just keep walking up there. That's all I said. And I just she went, "Where are you going?" I said, "I'm turning down here." And that was it. I thought, what the fuck, man? Because <laughs> I thought she was going to start asking me loads of questions about can I get a drug? I'm like, yeah, I look like do I look like a drug walking down Botchett with my John Cena shirt? And I look like a massive drug dealer. Okay. But anyway, that yeah. So WrestleMania was amazing. My, I have genuinely, Chris, man, I am not taking a piss. I have a psychic ability. There is. Fucking video proof of this, right? This isn't the first time I've done it. This new Pokemon card set that came out last weekend, right? Right. There was two cards you can get in it. Gyarados and uh, Arcanine in their terrestrial forms. Uh-huh. And I'm flicking through the book before I've got any packets open. Just look what cards we can get. It says, I would love if we can get Arcanine. I would love it. Uh, if, if we can get one of the two, amazing, but ideally Arcanine. A couple of packets in, boom, Arcanine. I was like, oh my God, yes. A few more packets in, Gyarados. What the fuck is going on? I have done this so many times where I've said, I would love to get this card. Boom, I've got it. And I don't know how it happens. I'm genuinely psychic. I'm not taking a piss, I'm a psychic. Maybe you are, maybe you are. Yeah, but you know. Maybe it's a potluck. It's probably is. But no, it's happened a few times. Where I'm like, I'd love Secret Rare Mewtwo. Boom. The Charizard one where I brought the tripod. It's like, please, can we get the Charizard? Boom, Charizard. Makes no sense. So I had good, I had good fun with Pokemon cards. Though. That was amazing. Um, what else what happened that week? Like I said, Newcastle beat a match yesterday 2 0. There's nothing more satisfying 
than me being in my bedroom just in my boxes watching Newcastle <laughs> play. And the worst thing is, I'm fine, right? I'm nice and cool, I'm relaxed. The second that whistle goes, I start stinking and pissing with sweat. Like, I was fucking foiling. Like, I mean, even to the point where I was like, oh, I fucking stink because I was watching other men run. But it was more the, the pressure. <laughs> I, it's horrible. I was down here last season watching Arsenal Newcastle with my mum. Yeah. And we beat him 2 0. And Jesus Christ, so like 10 minutes into like, you need to go for a shower, you fucking boff. And I'm sat there wiping the sweat away. And I'm stripping down even more and more. And my mum sat there. Like I said, to the point of the 90th minute, I'm literally there in my boxes, just pissing with sweat, like waiting for four times to go down in the shower. It's fucking horrible. Absolutely foiling little tramp. Yeah, that sounds nasty. <laughs> but it's horrible because uh, the more I watch Newcastle the more I get heart palpitations I can physically feel my heart stop for a second and uh, duh, 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 duh. it's fucking horrible because you get like a little shortness of breath and I go fuck me I have another heart palpitation watching Newcastle that's not, that's not good I sometimes I wish I didn't like football just stop watching it can't it's literally encoded in you it's like me now saying to you whatever you love the most in the world just being like you don't love that anymore you're being like children <laughs> yeah you do Come here. it would be hard for a van to rock up with loads of candy and not get in it imagine imagine waking up one day right you're the most innocent man in the world right you've got no bad intentions and you think I want to get some good karma I'll tell you what let's just go chuck out a load of sweets to the kids you know just do something nice you're driving down do you want some kids uh, do you want some kids do you want, kids? Do you want some sweets kids <laughs> and automatically what's that there's a funny joke that somebody told me at work in um they go, how long does it take to uh, get labelled something? And like, you go, oh, you're a bloody nonce. And they go, you fuck one kid and you're labelled a nonce the rest of your life. <laughs> and I'm like, what? It's fucking mental, mate. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, so last weekend was absolutely insane for me. Insane for you. Uh, yeah. Well, my you- weekend involved a pizza, oh, you alcohol, a weekend. and Xbox. Just... <laughs> Would your heart rate just nice and calm? No. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, do I, wait, what were you playing? What was it? Where? Well, I started off with Forza. We and keep farting to fuck now. I know. Started off with Forza, and as the day went on, I got into Resident Evil, and that's when, oh the new the new one. yeah Resident Evil Four, and that, that, that's when it started because it's edgy seat stuff. Yeah, you got fucking. Shit jumping out at you, oh, he's like, oh, oh, God, LA. Oh, <laughs> and you're trying to run about, trying to reload, yeah. and get ready to shoot them again. It's, it's like, mad ah! when, when you're playing a game, for a split sec, you get sucked in as if you're the main character. Like, if you die or get hurt or whatever, you would feel it. Yeah. And it's completely bizarre because, you know, there's the issues, there's no... You, you get that attachment, like, this is me running fucking hide or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, what do you mean? I would love to play on one of these... Visual simulator thing. Oh, well, they've shot you they've up. Strapped you run, up. Yeah. You're on the, you've got a walking floor, you've got the gun, you've got the. Mate. I would love to fucking gun on one of If I'm them. sat sweating watching people <laughs> run, fuck me, what am I going to look like if I have to fucking do that for like fucking God knows how long? I'm like, oh, just kill us. And to be fair though, I don't like Codder out, but if they had like a Cod one of them, that would be quite fun. No, I think Resident Evil would be mid- A like, scary game would be good. It'd be absolutely a scary mid-tight. game would be good. Because you'd be just fucking walking around slowly, creeping, shooting away the next minute. You're, yeah, I'm fucking run. <laughs> just shouting fucking Carl. If, not, not the same franchise, but if there's zombies involved now, there's a Carl. That has to be Carl. Carl. That's all I was. Dan, shush, Carl. Where's Carl? One of them would be fucking epic. But that, no, yeah, I remember you telling me your weekend, and I was like, yeah, that's. Uh, well, it was a chill that weekend, weekend because obviously I was going into the trucking world on from Monday, so I was like, right. On the trucks, I'm gonna chill out the weekend. Just yeah, your last little calm before the storm. Yeah, and like the, um, one week down, one week of two days left ish. And I'll be a trucker. Hopefully, from, things go well. From Plymouth Argyle. Where is it from? Exactly, things go well. So well. Uh, uh, what if you go to like foreign countries and you're one of these? I will like foreign countries. No, but have you seen them people? The the, 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 the what are they called? Migrants. Yeah. Yeah, like they literally open up the back uh, doors yeah, yeah. and they're fucking we've hanging got, on. Gotta learn about them. Oh, it's fucking. I, I don't know how them. I mean, I, I get they're doing it from a, a bit of um, desperation because they want to get yeah. somewhere that's you know better opportunities or whatever. But fuck me, when that wagon's driving, the doors fucking flying like they're like. Uh, uh, I'm like, how do you boys even fucking go up with that? Fuck no. It's, Jesus it's, Christ, it, it's shit like. And they do it in front of the police. Yeah. But you've got to make sure you fucking clear your wagon before you get to the border because. 
as shit as it may be, it's the driver and the company that get sued. How For every migrant, it? it's two thousand pound. Wow. Now the wagons are big enough to fit. Uh, say, say, worst case comes to worst, there's like a hundred people on there. Yeah. What the fuck? So <laughs> it's 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 shit. For the wagon driver, like. But like I said, you, you, from looking from their point of view, it feels like this is all we can do. This is exactly, uh, you know, because I, I don't a lot of them come from Syria and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so... They all make the way, to, the way to France, and then they all fucking try and sneak on from there. I mean, to be fair, they'll get to Britain and think, what the fuck am I doing when you see towns like Carlo and the characters we've got here, they will be like, I was probably better off back home. And you see fucking... Probably. Crackheads walking down the street, probably. You fucking gurney. Probably. Weird shit like that. <laughs> but yes, uh, trucking this week is, well, this is the first week of being a, a learner truck driver, driving the big wagon, the big boy now. Will you be uh, nervous on your first day out on your own? Oh, I'll be petrified. Because obviously at the minute you've had someone with you that's yeah. sort of like, you know, yeah. not as a safety net, and I'm not saying you need one, but like... Oh, I'll be petrified. Bit, yeah, it probably will be a yeah. little bit. Like, well done, you can, this big, massive machine of death... Go on, away you go. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Bang! It was like that when I passed my test. I was happy. Obviously, it's going back some years now. Oh, okay, the okay, old I passed my test. An hour later, they were sending me to Penrith. Right, you got Penrith. I need to pick some up. Like, what? You, know, you passed your test now. You, 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 you. I, did, I did well getting to, to my job. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. I mean, yeah, it'd be fun, though. I'm going to wait for you to drive down the road and I'm going to try and jump on the back. <laughs> just, you, you'll be looking out your window and you just see me like that. <laughs> and I'll come and you're like, what the fuck's he doing? And then we'll have an epic like Spider-Man battle on the roof where you've got to put it in, <laughs> you, no, but you've got to put it in cruise control <laughs> and you've got to put like a superhero outfit on and like the truck will be destroyed and you're like, this is my cargo. And you'll do anything to protect your cargo because you're a cargo man. Yes. My vi- villainous power is I just love stealing cargo. Right? And then you're like, no, not today, son. You swack up your cigar and you, you do like a backflip through your sunroof and you start shooting and oozing. <laughs> oh, this is mint. I'm going to rob your wagon. Oh, I will get you one day, cargo man. What a fucking power. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll, I'll get an e-scooter to give me a head start. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be quicker than me. <laughs> You'll be quicker than me. I, um... You're going to shoot yourself one day if you sit in there and you just hear and you'll be like, what the fuck? Next thing you know, you're an Optimus Prime's chest. Because surely, surely, it could be me because I'm a fucking idiot. Have you not made any Optimus Prime references at all? No, no. no. Every fucking... Like, I would have sat in that wagon you're testing out his clipboard and have been like, oh, the box will roll out just to get a cheeky little... Ha-ha. And he'll be like... You want to have a fucking clipboard? Well, you've got to say it, man. If you're in a truck, you've got to think, hey... Could be up to right, I'll say it on Monday then. Yes, no, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah, and say it. Automats, roll out. And I'll just... say it Tuesday. And tell me what, how we What's the, what, the name of the wagon? Lady Gaga. The, the name of your wagon? Why is it called Lady Gaga? Because each one has a name. Right. And they all represent something to do with the learning or some side of things. But for some strange reason, the account lot chose Lady Gaga. And there's a new wagon coming, in which, again, the account lot got to choose the name and they've called the new wagon that's coming Madonna oh so it's like a pop star theme sort of going on at the minute well just these two wagons the rest are all something to do with learning oh you've definitely got to get in there so I've got fucking Lady Gaga the radio papa poker face papa poker face oh yes <laughs> you've got an Autobots roll out carry me oh yes oh, I can see it now mate well done Lady Gaga like ah, uh, Lady Gaga have you got one of the radios that dropped down? No. Key, let, let's see them, Tiki no. boy. Let me I'll, see I'll try and let you know when we're driving past if you're home. Well, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'm doing I'll back shift next week. So I'll be going through the town and that about yeah. one o'clock ish. Right. Well, I might, well, no, we we'll, might we'll be in town actually. Because like I said, every SP wagon that's come across, I've just put, <laughs> well, it's not you, I'm like, oh, fuck, we look at what now. Um, there must be a lot of people out learning this week, is there? It, it's a fucking popular thing, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I believe yeah. But like I say, reversing's out the way, coupling, uncoupling's out the way. It's them do. Don't have to worry about them now. Have you practiced going to like a dirty burger joint where you park up and like the ladies of the night come mingling? No. Oh, you need to do one of them. Hey, honey, need some coffee for the no, night? No, oh. I'm not doing any of that. Why not? Susan, who's got eight kids, one tits down here, one's up there, fagging a gob. She just sucked her fifth dick. Hey, boy, <coughs> you want to come in? She's got a bottle of vodka stashed. 
you're sat there, you're mustn't that you should go on, it's been a lot. Been on the road all week, I need some company. And then she came in. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, come on, put she's never trying to fucking feed her kids and her crystal meth addiction. Poor girl. No, I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Ah, you want one of them boys to come and knock out. <laughs> hey, excuse me, sir. Can I get a lift to town, the next town over? It's a long way, boy, on the highway. You should be out on your own. That's you, <laughs> with your little hat and your little... You've got an eye patch and a hook for a hand. Wow. Yes, because you've been driving these streets for years, but everybody thinks you're the bad guy, but really you're not. Everyone's like, hey, that Merle's a bit of a funny character. He's been driving these streets for years. He's got an eye patch and a hook for a hand. No, it's, it's one of them ones where your missus in that's died, but they died naturally, but they never found the bodies. But they all think it's you. I think that Merle killed his family, but you never actually did. And the whole town just got you wrong. You know that stereotype when you see in yeah. the film? That's you. At the end of the day, you actually end up saving him. Like, we were wrong about Merle. And you're like, ah, the milkman fucked your wife. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've written your fucking story here, mate. I have written your story. We could do this. I mean, I wouldn't be able to. Unless you could pick me up from work and just, ha, oh, ha, oh, we got T minus four, or oh, whatever the fucking cut. I don't I mean, have a Hong Kong or a fucking oh, radio. You told me this, didn't I've you? just got a horn. Mm. You're going to have to get a CD then. Like, like every, I don't know, hour just goes, ha, oh, oh, ha, and it carries on. So on the hour, every hour. Okay. That would be mint. <laughs> I'll get one. I'll, I'll... What, what would you do if uh, your instructor at the end of the week says, right, one last, last test to pass, and you go, okay, what is it? And he goes, and you've got to go, mm, I'm just showing you, they were, people listening, I've just flicked to my lips. Why go, would he say that? Well, I don't know, mate. You've seen them porn videos that you, they always get memed where like, yeah, you've passed your test, but there's one more joystick you got to get on or shit like that. And they're like, hey, you like fake taxi we've got a massive meme. No. You need to get down the memes a bit more. We eat it so far. And to be fair, it's more me. You did a, a, a creak before. I'm just doing them powerhouse nuclear bombs, and again. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stick to driving me wagon. What do we, oh, that fart stinks, mate. Uh, what would you do if he is like, if the other lad that you're training with, all of a sudden is like, yeah, I've sent Bill home early. It's just me and you. And he just pulls out his knob. He says, touch that, you pass. Oh, he's thinking about it, though. Mate, there's not a lot I would do for a pass. <laughs> if somebody sat there and uh, you know, they're like, hey, uh, Mr. Tinkle's there. Give him a little shingle-lingle. Here's a million quid. <laughs> <laughs> You're always trying to turn a gay out, aren't you? It's fucking you. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what if? Now? So what if you were in another country, right, and they said... We want you to sn snuggle in, snuggle, snuggle. We want you to smuggle in an immigrant, but like immigrant is Pedro Pascal. Would you do it? Just for you. Oh, thank <laughs> you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. That would have been, you pull up on the front, the big eye waggle on this tiny little crackhead street. It wouldn't hit fucking far. And then just Pedro. I'm reverse my hood. Pedro comes out the back like that, taped up. Mm. Like, yes, you are mine. In. And I'll let him live in one of them sheds. And I'll just breathe it in through that gap. Like every now and then I'll just go through the. And then I'd say, I'll just sit down there and get a stool. I'll be butt naked. And I'll cover myself with like butter. And I'll just sit there like that. And he'll be like, mm, mm. And, like, and I just get up to and just <sighs> and sit back down. Put some more butter on. Why butter? I don't know. Imagine you <laughs> like loads of like any butterly or whatever it's called. And just sit there and just you slather it on. It'd be so freaked out. Oh, mate, this whole thing, I can make a film out of this. Direct action go. Make a film, you being the misunderstood trucker. You've accidentally brought Pedro Pascal here and I've kidnapped him and you're like, that was my fault, I need to redeem my actions. Because we're in America. Where'd you put <laughs> But imagine, how, how would you feel if you're in a shed like that and all you can see is lines and there's some fat fucks up there just getting bits of butter like... You'd be like, what the fuck is going on? You'd just fucking headbutt yourself to death. If you would Because if somebody's that completely gone to sit there and like the freezing cold nights... Just naked, just putting butter, I mean, I'm talking behind the knee and under the tit and that. Just butter sat for days. Occasionally letting out like a, one of them, <laughs> bit of green, yellow butter coming out the nose. <laughs> <laughs> you would be a bit, what the fuck are we going on about? Fucking you, you know, you know. My man takes me to dark places, boy. But, well, I only have cover life, so unless you've got expensive pockets. I don't know what the butter I have is. Let's have a look. 
I might not even be in here, I know Teresa says she's oh. going to shop in. As the soft spread, there, there you go. go. As designed. No, that's, yeah, that's how it's doing it. No, it's Tesco. <laughs> yeah, every little helps. Tesco, every little helps. Yeah. Fuck no, listen, yeah, by country life. What's that one? You'll never get a better bit of butter on your knife. I don't know. You'll never get a, be a bit of better butter on your knife. And it was Jordan that said it. He was some kind of rock dude who used to do the Cooper Life one. Yeah. Yeah. What if you drive through one of the towns and you have to go to a <laughs> gas station? It's like probably deserted. And you know where it's that quiet, you hear like the wood on the window. Like the, and you're like, hello, folks, anybody around? They're like, we ain't seen a little passerby for many days here, boy. Have you seen the, the video that's going around? It's about a door. You slam it against its uh, stopper and then it shakes back, but it goes. <laughs> oh, the thing that sometimes cats and that are obsessed with flicking yeah, that thing. It bounces off that and the door just shimmies yeah. back, but it sounds like an old lady laughing at you. Ooh, imagine <laughs> that in the middle of the night. Ooh, like the duck is he'll come barging in sometimes. I'm sure Ozzy does it when you're sat on the door, but it doesn't go. Have a look about and go fuck this and back out. <laughs> so th that can easily have the door swings open. Nice. Dogs are fucking weird when they do that. Yeah. They barge in somewhere, look around and go, what's fucking happened? We've done that a boy. <laughs> like, what, what, what the fuck have you, what made you do that? They're weird little creatures. Weird but that is a good idea for a film. Just Loads nice. of truckers have been going missing. Like, we could call it, like, the last trucker of Cumbria. And, like, a load of truckers have been going missing, and all of a sudden you're there, and you start seeing signs like, hey, that's Jimmy's trailer. He, he's not been seen for weeks and you're like this town's a bit strange you'll, you'll see like Michael's fucking wheel you're like that's Michael's wheel because he had a particular wheel on his wagons and like hey wagon wheel and then you'll be like hey there's Tabitha because we're really exclusive women can drive wagons very talented and he's like, shut up sexist <laughs> <laughs> and you're like hey oh, but, that's uh, Tabitha's yeah. dead body that's a bit suspicious she's been killed off though because obviously she's a woman so she can't fight so <laughs> and uh you're like, I need to solve this case. And it's just you against like a town of inbred Cumbrians. Oh, that doesn't take fucking much. Exactly, mate. <laughs> we can make this a film. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like you're pinned down and I come out of nowhere with like fucking Iron Man and Batman armor half and half. And I just start chucking batarangs everywhere. And I save the day. And you're like, oh, thank you. You're just in time. You've got like a little scratch. I'm like, no, he's going to die. And I think you're going to die, but you're fine. But I kill you to put you out of misery and I bury you there. Thanks. But it's, hey, I saved your life, really. Have I got a plaque? Yeah, I'll put like, um, you know, I'll do like an a, a X23 thing. I'll put like, a, I'll bring an Optimus Prime thing. I've got a stone truck with some plant pots in it. Yeah. I'll give it my grave thing. And then Optimus will come and probably pick it up. And, we'll have, <laughs> yeah, and, and, on me. and the film ends with me. <laughs> Optimus, like him, just picking the grave cover. No, bring, no, bring it back. Don't fucking piss on me, that thing. Mate, we can take this film to the Oscars. <laughs> Don't forget your butter scene. Yeah, the butter scene. <laughs> but we'll give it to somebody else. We'll give it to um. Well, there's, a, there's a lad called Harry. But he likes to cover himself with butter. You see, because when the when the, the when he's attacking people and they're trying to like push him off the cart, he's dead slippery. They're like, "Why are you so slippery?" And he's like, "Butter." That's all he ever says. It's butter, but it was actually code. It was him screaming for help, but he could only say butter. <laughs> oh, it's just like Hordo. Yeah, just yeah, say yes. <laughs> just like hold it was hold the door. Yeah. This is butter. The key to survival was butter. Because when you're covered in butter, the actual inbreds can't sniff you out. Because they're like, man flesh. Like Lord of the Rings, so I'll get loads of references here. Yeah. Like, but you're covered in butter, they're like, just smells like the hills or whatever, I don't fucking know. And then so you're blended in naked into some fucking foliage. But eventually they do get you. Because we have to get the scene where I fly in. I have to fly in. Why do you have to fly in? That's what the script says. Okay. So, I didn't. Don't blame me, mate. The script says I you didn't write the script. In. Exactly. I didn't write either that or I'm on the back of like like a badass animal, like a cow, like me and a cow, and I'll just be like, I've come to milk the day instead of save the day. That's my catchphrase, and I drink milk and I get like like Super Mario and Star, and I just start going. And spraying milk at everybody and I get milk snots you know when you so much milk comes out your nose I go ha 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 exactly action we'll get Mel Gibson we'll get uh, Sigourney Weaver in uh, we're going to get Ryan Reynolds for that comedic effect oh sounds like a good film it really does doesn't it and then like I said we'll have a cutscene at the end where it's just like 
I like really, the whole know. time. We well, you know the cutscene at the end where it's a guy in Asda and you just see his hand, and then all of a sudden you see him pick up some butter and put it in the basket, and one of them survived. But like he's going back for revenge at the same time. That's why it should button like, oh my god, it's still on. Ah, fuck. This is gonna be a great film. <laughs> Sounds it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's. I think that's my shit. Girl. I've, uh, I've said enough. <laughs> Guys. If you're still here through these, uh, hey, I have perfect time of footy kicking up in 10 minutes. Happy days. Happy fucking days. You can stay for one more brew if you want, mate. If, I'm not going to rush. I'm just going to be sat on my fat ass watching a bunch of men go, oh, it's one billy crawly town. Fair <laughs> I know, for whatever reason, I really. Well, I enjoy it because for the next 90 minutes, I've got bets on. So I'll be like, fucking get a goal at this game. And they'll be like, oh, goal at wherever. It'll be the wrong team. I'm like, fuck! More shit you shouldn't do. Don't gamble. Because I all of a sudden I become oh. fans of like Harrogate Town. And I'm like, come on, get a goal. And finishes no, no, you shit cunts. Oh. That's lovely. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll end it there, it's yours. <laughs> I'll tie you up after the dog and I'll uh, I'll take my riddle in. After my stretches. Yeah, it's but pretty yeah. Nice. <laughs> but last weekend was great. It was. This weekend started off great. Bank holiday weekend with Sin Mario. We and we've got we've got till you've got till, I've got till. Monday, but you're going back to training. I'm going back to burning my fingers with concrete. No, no Tuesday. Tuesday. What did I say? Monday. Monday. We're rough Monday aren't we? Yeah, we're off Monday. Try to always with the new lads at work. I always try and tell them that I work back holidays. And fucking, I don't think it's work this time when it comes to the new lads because I think other people have told them that I'm blagging them. Mm. But it happened once we got a, a, one of the lads to turn up on a bank holiday and they just stood there for like an hour at the gates. No one rocked up. They thought, oh, I just assumed no one was coming in. Like, yeah, it's a bank holiday. Winding you up. <laughs> We're all pricks at my work. Yep. But it's funny. Funny. It's funny. Funny. Uh, visuals, thank you for listening. I don't yeah. know if you want to end up with that, Chris. No, I'm going for the poop. Ooh, nice. Fuck, you always double flush. <laughs> Make sure you flush. To be fair, there's something wrong with our toilet. Like, you have to, like, sometimes it won't flush. You have to lift the lid up a bit. Yeah. Get it down. Let the water build up, then flush. So I don't know if it's just all this abuse has been taken from massive aero bar coat yeah. shit. Probably. Just think, when you're sat on that toilet, I've been there with my butthole, like occasionally having a fag and, and you're going to be like, mm, damn shit particles. No. They like, come up with your bum. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like you're listening. Remember, I was keeping your keep on keeping on. Love you, bye. <laughs>